If they didn't have those superpowers in that situation, they'd be done. Without Soldier Boy, um, Homelander is going to Lara Croft, everybody. Dude is a problem. He's, dude, he's, this dude, like, because I was saying to myself that, like, how do you stop this dude? Okay, I get that he wants to be a prude, he wants to be like, but, like, how the hell do you stop this dude? Um, he's a problem. Homeboy's a problem. Yeah, homeboy, aka Homelander. The guy's a problem. And things have just got him messed up right now. And I had a funny feeling. Because I just said, look, Adrian, the guy's such an idiot. He's such, he's so subservient and so forth. I thought it would be actually really, it would actually be an, an interesting twist if Adrian's like, oh, yeah, Homelander's really bad. What's the best way to get in with Homelander? Yo, do you know what these guys are trying to do to you? Boom. So I thought that was a very good story writing thing. Star Wars, you know, take heed to, to actually how you write interesting, incorporating stories. Um, Basically, like they need Soul Soldier Boy. <laughs> Soldier Boy, hey, hey. basically, they need to get without Soldier Boy. Um, Homelander is going to Lara Croft, everybody. You can't touch this dude, <laughs> you know, you cannot touch the dude unless you have whatever Soldier Boy has, which obviously can lubricate um superheroes. Homelander can be touched. This guy cannot be touched. You cannot come close to this freaking dude. So, um yeah, man. And I think that, you know, especially where things are with superheroes. I mean, with what has happened to um, Starlight's mates, school just got completely salivated. Um, I think it's a stage where, okay, like, okay, guys, just chill. <laughs> Everyone, just chill. Just calm down. Let's just try to assess things. Because obviously she, Amanda went to Maeve and said, and just says, look, Maeve, bro, you, you, you can't, oh, sis, you can't do this on your own. Okay, so we, <laughs> we need to really navigate and find out. But I think right now they're like, look, just do whatever this this dude says. Do whatever this freaking dude says and just hope that Huey and all those guys can say what's up. And it's very interesting what's happening with the, with the boys now. Because they're not going to be fully fractured. Because obviously, like, I think it was shocking when, obviously, for Mother's Milk and French, they're like, wait, Butcher and Huey, you, it's your superheroes? No, we are against superheroes. We're against soups and we're fully against this because soups have pretty much... Um, affected us in such a crazy way but you see <laughs> you have to understand when you're thinking about this stuff you have to think four dimensional which is why this this, this, this is just what you call really good writing this is what you will call really good writing star wars you bombs listen this because you're like you can see both ways you can see the way of like wait you're supposed to be soups so therefore you're going against your principle but on the other hand if when you're fighting a war as crazy as this and you want to stop homelander all the matter is all that matters is the end Forget the means. All that matters is the end. So he's like, bro, we have it for 24 hours. If they didn't have... <laughs> Sorry. Just think... This is what um, Frenchie and Mother's Milk need to think about. If they didn't have those superpowers in that situation, they'd be done. Out of bullets, out of guns, they'd be captured, they'd, they'd, they'd be screwed. So they were, they were able to get out of that situation by those superpowers. But this... But what, and, then this way, and I think this is where, where they're going to go with this man. I think for someone like Huey, who has totally been against superpowers and so forth, he's like, wait a minute, I'm finding out someone. I'm not finding out, I feel empowered. And I'm like, wow, I'm not this weakling, loser, dude, where my girlfriend, who looks like, like a freaking mouse, has to freaking protect me. So what you're going to maybe find is Huey, most, I, say, I think for Butcher, he'll be like, yeah, 24, I'm out. But for Huey, he's like, what about 48? What about 32 hours? Maybe after for a week or two weeks, I think he's going to be more attracted to having those superpowers for much longer than, let's say, Butcher. So that's where the whole... So so things could get... I'm I'm guessing that... I'm, trying, I'm just trying to guess the I'm... I think Huey may just be, be become like a full-on soup, bro. I think Huey, Huey may end up becoming like, like a full-on soup. And then it'll be like, whoa, now this guy... So I think... Things are just going to get really crazy. They're just going to turn everything on their head, man. But Soldier Boy, man, let's see what he does. So obviously we now know that the power he has screws up um, superheroes because Kam Kamiko can always regenerate like Wolverine. But now that she can't regenerate, so obviously what he has, boom. So my thing now is them getting to Soldier Boy, 
trying to convince Soldier Boy, get him on their hands, and then try and now say what's up. Um, but here's the thing: what if you have a situation where somehow Soldier Boy and Homeland are on the same team? Then they're screwed, man. But yeah, not, not, not super interesting, man. Like, I can't wait with this for next Friday, man. So, guys, comment below. Tell me what you think, man. Do you think it's right or wrong that you know, um, Butcher and Homeboy here we are getting their supers and bro, what Kamiko did to those um to that Russian dude, we you know with with the prostitutes with the dildos and so forth, man, my lord. Um but yeah man, so guys I'll see you next Friday for another episode review. Peace out, stay true, check out the other vids on the channel. Nice one, baby.